Alright, and welcome back. We have just finished with the town of Lothering, and we are now going to move on to wherever the fuck we're heading to. Uh, I think now we actually go to the little camp place and we get a little cutscene, I think, here. I don't remember too much, actually, so I guess we have to find out, don't we? And thankfully my mic was on. I, I keep forgetting to check that. Ah, oh, crap, the long-ass loading screen. That's why I use X-Fire, because the time at the top goes away, or comes back when the loading's done. It's very helpful. Well. Take your time, game. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, my keyboard's all dirty. Oh, yes, this nice little thing here. Black screen. Oh, there we go. Ugh. My fraps is going crazy. It seems so real. Well, it is real. Sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's, That's good. what your dream was. Hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde. And it roars. Just as they do. I mean... <laughs> That's why we I don't know, know about talks, really but it roars. Part. Uh, the Earth team is at the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. So but it looks yes, like... That's the arch demon. Okay. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the arch demon a bit, but I sure can't. Hmm. Anyhow, Interesting. when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Thanks, I appreciate That's it. what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Oh, well, thanks. Anyhow, then. you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. As up as I'll ever be, I guess. So yeah, and uh, this is your little encampment. If you can't tell, Alistair randomly appears, of course. And uh, so I guess you can talk to people here if you want. Um, and you also have uh, a little quest things. The guy, like the guy over there, you actually have to download something, if I recall. So I'm not gonna bother with that. But we'll talk to you. Yes. I like to talk. Well, here I am. Um. What was life like in the Chantry Cloister? Sure. Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. It's pretty boring. Um, condescending? How so? When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means hmm. they are special chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Um, hmm. I prefer your ideas. Thank you. Maybe I am wrong. But it but is again, the, the maker's place to decide if I am I worthy. Good. Not men. Not the chantry. But there is work to be done. Dude, and she's I have boring. To for now. Just boring all to hell, but whatever. Um, so I just gotta get her to approve. Uh, fuck Sten, he'll just disapprove of anything I do anyway. And where the hell is Morgan? Oh, she was around here somewhere. Huh. Guess not. Um, oh well. So, I don't. I don't really want to talk to him. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Um, yeah, he's Levy. never... He never, he never told you. you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. 
but here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Yeah, Don't yeah. want to waste your time. Good. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the wardens. And for me. I but don't poor care. Duncans. I really don't. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Right you are. But if you ever want to talk to me again, I don't. I'll be around. <laughs> oh, I hate you so much right now because of that. So, let's talk to these guys then. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Yeah, uh, well this crazy at your kid can chant your shit. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a grey warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? You're free to stay, just mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. <laughs> we won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. I will never talk to him, ever. Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can help you out. Um... Let me see what you got. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. I don't and really care. With I your discount. Show me what you got. Alright, let's see if he's got anything worthwhile. Um, 31 strength. Here we go. Um, definitely, we're definitely buying this. I just, I need something. I was going to say, I'm like, I can sell this for that much, but never mind. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's say, I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't think I really have anything to sell to him except this. And this. And this random ring. That should do it. Um, alright, we're good to go. And let's also, let's equip this. So I should have the random iron ring that doesn't do anything there. And let's equip this. So now I have a decent staff again. Alright. I don't really care to talk to Sten. Um, I'll talk to the dog, though. Oh, why, you little... Um, what? Your what? furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me, look. Well, don't do that. Um. Well, he is a war dog. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach Come on, you're a great warden. Get some guts, you pussy. <sighs> Talk to him again. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. <laughs> Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. <laughs> oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. <laughs> Guess I'll stop this. Um. Hey! <laughs> Thankfully, he doesn't uh, disapprove of anything. Um, I don't know where Morgan went, so let's just continue on. Alright. I'll gather my party and venture forth. Ah, here we go. Now we get to hit, pick everyone. Alright, we're going to go with Morgan, obviously. Um, and Alistair. Yes. Do I want the war dog, or do I want her? Um, I think for now we'll keep the war dog. Sounds like a good idea. That should that should be decent. I don't really care for the other two right now. And we're gonna go the same route I did last time, if I can remember it. Yep, Redcliffe Village to get to Redcliffe Castle. 